In his secret laboratory, Tim Kirby was able to build the world's most sophisticated robot, which unfortunately doesn't give a darn about anything. Tim's mission? To teach his creation why it should care about humans and world events. This is Why You Should Care. Watch only on RT.com. Man, I just care so much about Ukraine. It brings my platinum and fiber optic liquid heart to see the innocent protesters there suffering so much. <sighs> yeah, you care so much that you are willing to memorize a four-word expression in their language that may not even exist. And if I remember correctly, wasn't it just last week when I offered to have a Ukrainian food night? You said, and I quote, But dude, Ukraine, what is that? Like some kind of gross fish? <sighs> Come on. Bro, facts, history, these things mean nothing. All that matters is that the media tells me that the Ukrainian people want freedom from Russian imperialism and meddling. And that is what I'm going to care about until the next news cycle starts on Monday. Accept me for who I am, bro. Accept me. So you're saying it's all Russian imperialism and meddling that's going on? Well, I happen to have a snazzy list here of all the EU politicians that have gone to Ukraine to rile up protesters there and give some speeches that are just a bit agitating. So, we have the ex-Prime Minister of Sweden, the Speaker of the Lithuanian Parliament, a German Foreign Minister, the former Prime Minister of Poland, an EU Vice President, and a... Psh, whatever. They're just defending democracy beyond the Iron Curtain, homie. They're defending democracy by calling for protesters to overthrow the elected government, the elected government that was elected by everyone else? Exactly, bro. Freedom trees need water from patriots and sometimes... Yeah, hey, they knocked over that statue of Lenin. Dude, that is both symbolic and media friendly. Well, in terms of democracy, isn't it kind of odd how there's independence movements in Scotland and Catalonia, and there's anti-EU movements in Hungary and in Bulgaria and in Greece, but those big protests, these EU politicians are shoot, 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 democracy, human rights, no, 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 that's silent. But in Ukraine, well, we can do everything. Ukraine must do what we want. And the other thing about democracy is even before all this stuff in Ukraine started, there was a movement called Ukrainian Choice that wanted to have a big referendum so Ukrainians could vote for their future to go to the EU or to join the Eurasian's Customs Union. Whatever happened to that? And why is no one talking about a referendum? And you know, the other thing is that since these EU politicians don't seem very uh, happy with democracy because they are advocating for a lot of neo-Nazi groups in the center of Kiev to overthrow the government. Dude, voting is never an option when people could vote for stuff that I don't like. That is the true spirit of Western democracy, man. Well said, my friend. Remember, kids, politicians should work on developing their own countries, not inciting revolution in others.